Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video on my YouTube channel Tech Tips with Kerwin. Today I would like to show you how to use the scan feature with the OneDrive mobile app. This could come in handy if you don't have a scanner at home or maybe the scanner at work stopped working and you need to quickly scan and send a document. Now, if you're familiar with Google Drive, OneDrive is the equivalent product from Microsoft. It's your personal cloud storage solution, which allows you to save and retrieve your data from anywhere, at any time, and on any device. In order to use OneDrive, you'll need a Microsoft account. You can sign up for free, or you could use your personal existing Microsoft account, such as your Outlook.com account. You can also use OneDrive with your work or school Microsoft 365 subscription. If you're an Android user, you can download the OneDrive mobile app from the Play Store. So here I have the Play Store opened on my smartphone. Let's type in OneDrive within the search bar. And if you haven't already installed OneDrive, you should see an option to install it here. I installed the app before, so let's press the open button. So here it's opening. There we go. So now that we're within the OneDrive app, let's tap the camera icon to open the scanner. Now within um, your mobile device, you can capture content from different sources, which are shown at the bottom of your screen. You can scan a whiteboard. So let's say that you're at school and you need to quickly capture your teacher's notes from the whiteboard. This option is perfect for you. It's also possible to scan documents like a letter, a contract, or even your ID or passport. During the COVID lockdown, I use this option quite often to send documents to my clients. Or if someone shares their business card with you, uh, instead of keeping a physical copy, next time you can keep a digital copy of it with the business card scan mode and securely store it in your OneDrive. Today I'm going to scan an article, so let's go back to the document option. You can adjust the flash settings by simply tapping the flash icon in the upper right hand corner until you find the right setting. I simply leave mine on automatic most of the time. So here is the article I'm going to scan today. Okay, we need to align the blue box with the edges of our document. Okay, like that. Once you are satisfied, press the scan button. Now you would see a preview uh, of your scan. Okay, press the confirm button so that we can start editing it like that. You should now see different options to add filters or crop it. Okay, so let's start off by cropping. We are going to remove the non-essential stuff from the edges. So I'll crop the top. I can crop this side as well. And at the bottom, I can crop off a little piece like that. Okay. Um, don't forget to um, click on confirm to keep your changes. If we were to press more, we'll see additional options such as rotate. Let's rotate this image so that it sits properly on the screen like that. Another interesting feature is the ink option, which allows us to add our handwriting. So if this were a document requiring a signature, I can simply tap on ink, select an appropriate color. Let's go for blue. Okay. And, ele and um, electronically sign the document with my finger. So let me sign like this. Okay. However, if you have a stylus pen, that usually makes it easier to sign and your electronic signature would look neat and tidy. Don't forget to click on confirm, okay, to save the changes that were made. If we go back to the filters option, we can remove the default filter by tapping none, okay? 
or we can choose um, any filter we want, for example, grayscale. Okay, sometimes I use process. Okay, negative is another one. As you can see, there are tons of options to adjust the lighting or even the scan mode. To exit the filters, simply tap elsewhere on your screen. Another great feature is that OneDrive allows multi-page scanning. That means that you can combine multiple scans into a single PDF. To use that option, simply tap Add, okay? And then scan your next document using the same procedure I just showed you. The maximum number of pages for multi-page scanning is 30. This is great, especially for scanning contracts with several pages. To return to our scan, simply press the blue button. You'll notice that there is a number one next to it. This indicates that we currently have one page in our scan. So once you're done editing, press done like that. Okay. And now we have to enter an appropriate file name in this field. So let's name this file G7 article. And then let's press the save icon. By default, OneDrive saves your scans to your main folder, but you can change the destination if you want. Here we can see that the scan is being uploaded. Okay. And now the uploading is finished. After your scan is saved, you can access it via the files icon. Okay, we are already within the files section. You can open it. So let's open our article. Okay, and we can search for specific text within the scan. The article we just scanned was about the G7 summit, which, recent, which was recently held in the UK. If I want to quickly find out what the article said about the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, I can open the search bar, okay, type in Boris Johnson, okay, then I can press the search. And as we can see, our query returned two results. If I zoom in to give you guys a clearer picture, okay, we can see that our results are highlighted in yellow. So here we have the first result and then we have our second result. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new about OneDrive, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel where I'll be sharing tech tips and tricks regularly. Take care and see you in the next one.